Hi, welcome back. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about something different. Um, not really another monthly what I got, but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And it's all from Cool Mini or not, Simon. So basically, what actually happened was there was actually a sale somewhere online. Uh, I will not mention the name of the shop, but I guess they are on sale all the time. Uh, of Simon products and um, kind of makes me want to you know go back and uh, get some of the stuff that I missed and um, what happened was I did some search around I didn't really like buy all this from the same store I got it from some of the local collectors which willing to let go of it uh, yes and um, it's pretty good deal knowing me you know I always go for good deals yeah, so let me talk a little bit about um, some of the stuff I got and um, and then I'll just uh, basically kind of unboxing but not all the unboxings because uh, number one, they has already been uh, opened because uh, Oh, that's my phone Let me switch it off Okay, that's probably not very important but anyway, so Yes, like I was saying, um, so So it's not really kind of an unboxing because um, these are like pre-owned and um, this has probably been opened by someone else. Uh, all of them are pre-owned except, um, except this. Okay, so let's get into it. So basically, these are all Simon's products. Some of them are less hurt than others. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is this humongous heavy box. This game is called uh, Council of Four. It's one of the few Simon games that is not actually designed by Eric Lang. And... Um, as you can see, it's, it's pretty amazing, uh, you know, like all the arts and the, um, you know, here we have pirates here, we have kind of like uh, some bishop looking guy and basically stuff like that. And this is a, this is a rather old game, I think. Uh, this is actually meant for two to four players, uh, for 40 to 70 minutes. This game, I have, have it, uh, I managed to find someone who's willing to let go of it, uh, brand new and it's... And so uh, I'll keep it brand new for the moment. I haven't really decided whether I want to like open it yet. But it's I heard it's not bad a sim C1 game and uh, you know it comes with miniatures obviously. Although the miniatures are not like fantastic, but you can tell that there's a lot of miniatures because like for example you have these grey ones. Now there's just like one big one and eleven small ones. And that applies to all the rest and even all the bigger size one, you know, it comes in fours. So there are tons of miniatures here as you can see uh, during the play out there's a big map and basically it's about a time where you know it's something uh to do some intrigues of uh rich merchants and politics and stuff and i think it's going to be a nice game well most of c1's games are okay they may not be like the top 10 but you know it can't be that bad i haven't really like played a very very bad c1 game yet i guess Okay, so let's get this out of the way. This is Council of Four. So the next, I will clear this uh, small box away. So I have been a big fan of Zombie Side, like you know, who else is not? But the medieval fantasies realms uh, of Zombie Side is actually one of my uh, favorite. And this bag, you know, as plain as it looks, um, this is called the Zombie Side Huntsman's Pack, and this is actually something that is um. You don't really see it on the store most of the time because as they suggest it's a Kickstarter exclusive. And Kickstarter exclusive uh, back then for you know zombie sites are all like smaller boxes. So you imagine this box uh, compared to like the green hot where they have a hot box. The hot box have zombie unicorns and you know this this is so much less. But nevertheless, because this is uh, for black plate, it has been a bit older, harder to hunt down and Actually, do you know what? This is actually available on Amazon now. Um, it's not really that expensive. I think this is about $80 or something like that. I mean, if you're willing to pay for it, uh, the Kickstarter exclusive is still available. Okay, so what we have here, we have uh, basically a lot of miniatures. As you can see, this color means that they are all heroes. Uh, so for Black Plague, that's kind of like give you another like about 20 heroes here. Um, I guess these are the bad guys, abominations maybe. Um, and we have necromancers of course here are all the hero cards um, so let me let me leave out the first layer so the second layer we have a uh, more monsters as you can see i think there's a wolf here as well 
Okay. Um, yep, non necrom not maybe non necromancers, but this looks like abomination for sure. I mean, it's not one of those woof abominations which you can get on M1 pack. And I guess we have more fatty busters, maybe that look like fatty busters, uh, runners, and stuff like that. But what's kind of amazing is the actually, they, I think they are the additional tokens. I mean, this like white bases. Uh, the black dice. I'm not sure if this was actually part of the part of the things that actually comes with this uh, Kickstarter exclusive. But anyway, the the person who sold it to me uh, had had this for me. Uh, I mean, if it's an extra, then kudos to him. I really appreciate that. And there's actually uh, also a red color uh, zombie sight back for all your maybe shuffling. I don't know because there isn't really like tokens for you to like you know draw from and things like that so i'm not really sure how to use that bag hmm okay anyway but it's a nice gesture to have uh kudos to see one for the other exclusive i only say that i kind of regretted not backing this when it was uh when it was like up for the kickstarter and even that said i actually didn't back some of the new simon's uh, kickstarter so, okay, it won't be a full unboxing because it has already been open. Uh, we have a nice booklet, all the scenarios here. You know, it's, this looks very much like the Greenhorn book. Um, he has actually done it nicely, uh, all the back zip locks, uh, and then you have the standard tiles. And then below this, we actually have another box uh, of the standard miniatures uh, of the standard zombies and the standard heroes. So I, I won't really like go through it because this is not really a unboxing videos for black plague but black plague has been something that uh, i had i think if you really if you actually saw my previous video actually i had a uh, black plague so fortunately for me i have not opened my black plague and i gotten this um which is open so what is going to happen is that i'm going to probably keep this open copy i'm going to sell my uh, unopened black plate to someone else lucky enough to own my collection because even so, I think black plate is a bit hard to find in the market right now. Okay, so now uh, to this heavyweight stuff. So I must first thing say is that this is almost all in for the Kickstarter of our Starcadia Quest. And I'm very fortunate that the seller is willing to let go of it at a very, very reasonable price. He's even willing to like deliver it to me. And I think he did a very good job maintaining uh, the quality and stuff for this this for, so for example let me just open this first box here which is one of the small box expansion this is the this the one that is you know like with the star wars uh but they do call it uh, the throne coopers you know i mean obviously it's a storm troopers you know like this is the big big stuff in star wars and and he, he has a very very nice way of uh, organizing the the after you open up the games you know he has actually peeled it back and then stick the the cover back into the so it looks really mean and i think this is a very very nice technique to you know keep the board games uh mean looking and you know protects it from dust perhaps perhaps it's, a, it's something that i should i should try and find out how to do it and how to in the first place cut this but but this is amazing um so you can see all the small boxes come with uh, lots of miniatures, uh, mainly good guy, bad guys, and stuff. And then this this nice, huge, and big miniatures. You know, it's a cute version of Star Wars. Not so serious. Okay. Anyway, so this is this is one of the box. This is the Stormtrooper. I mean, Throne Cooper. Yeah. So what? So a little bit about uh, Star Killer Quest is that Star Killer Quest is actually um, it's actually like the space version of Arcadia Quest. And there's also Arcadia Quest and Arcadia Quest uh, Inferno, which both of them I did not own uh, due to whatever reasons. Because I think the main reason is because uh, it's, it's too much, too much, too much. And there's actually, um, actually, I missed all the Kickstarter by the time all this is going on. So, so what happened was, um, well, it's not going back to you know, miss Kickstarter, you know that you're going to pay a premium for it. But lucky for me, Star Killer Quest is um, is available. And what drives my um, actually interest into this was actually I was interested in Zombie Side. Then I saw Zombie Side uh, Invaders, and 
actually Invaders was actually a pretty good game because they introduced a few new rules such as like uh, you know uh, focus fire and um and stuff like that and there's the you know remote control the robot and stuff like that that's really really very interesting i mean it's a lot more interesting than zombies and black play i think i don't know but anyway so so uh so uh, that got me interested in starcader quest as well because it's kind of like a space version of invader quest so there's a lot of stuff he has actually uh, that's actually provided inside this box as you can see he has actually uh, double sleeved all the cards and so that saves me all the time about and all the money about buying sleeve i think it's a pretty good job uh, he has already locked back everything he even provided this thing that they i think i should reheat it because it's already turned pink but basically these are uh, silica gels to keep the board game dry and everything and like all other you know like many other games they come with boxes with miniatures uh, tokens and stuff like that so i must say uh this is a pretty well maintained set of star Kato quest and i'm pretty lucky that i managed to be able to get this um, it's not not exactly fantastically uh, low price but compared to what you pay for the for the kickstarter i think this is reasonable and it's almost everything almost everything why almost because there's actually one or two expansion that i think he didn't get uh for me i probably would have get it as well but guess what i bought him oh my okay but anyway this is the main box um I'll talk about this other box this is the this is called the space marauders space marauders i think this is the kickstarter exclusive if i'm not wrong yep it does say ks so i guess there's there's some sort of code nowadays we know that you know when we see the ks codes coming out from the come on it's actually the kickstarter exclusive so i think yeah this is kickstarter exclusive so you won't get this when you when you actually get the normal normal uh star Kid request what this does is that they have this flimsy uh indentation it's not as good as the one that comes with black plate black plate is a full plastic but i guess this will do the back is look cute look at this how could you say no to this game i mean all the cuteness and chibis by the way this helps you to you know like when you put down tokens it, it won't run around because of the indentation yeah so basically that's part of the kickstarter um we have a few of these bots and we have lots of miniatures i guess this is all the additional miniatures that you will not get if you get the retail version uh maybe i'll just glance through some of them so quick look quick look you know see you see some familiar faces uh this the Cthulhu looking you know um i don't know i guess there'll be one that look like robocop oh yes here you have robocop you know and um you know princess leah actually i think I'm, i might even have this uh on a separate purchase i don't know um yeah so basically this is uh this is all the kickstarter exclusive in this box which is called um the space marauders okay not a fantastic name but it does work i guess and you can see there's a lot of box a lot of box is there's four four big box i think there's about another four small box and so on so the next one is uh amada yes so amada is um is one of the big expansion uh, with its own rules uh more token more cards and of course I think more bots as well there's two bots and a couple of new stuff as you can see he has kept all of this for most of the games i think these are like miniatures here eh? which i think is a bit hard to open now so uh, let's not do that since this is not a uh, you know full video on the star Kader quest but this gives you a, a brief idea of what's inside of course you can take a look behind see this this is kind of miniatures you will get now you know like one space shark thing with a couple of other uh ahoy maybe this looks like it's kind of somehow kind of space pirate stuff i mean correct me if i'm wrong so you, this so this is an expansion and this is the last expansion which is also highly recommended by uh, people from uh, Boggin gig and other forums now, this is the build a robot star kid quest i think all the layout for the for the expansions are something like this where you have uh, one box miniatures on the side then we have um rule books we have um i think these are like oh that's row and right is it i see some pads here this looks like row and right pads or something like that uh more tokens uh, lots of tokens all packed up uh to save time i will show you the 
the picture from the box behind. Most of these are available through retail. Uh, the only thing that's not available through retail is the starter box, which I mentioned just now. So let me see. Oh, you know, I always have this problem uh, putting it back on the right orientation. So this looks pretty interesting, you know, like uh, highly detailed plastic miniatures, which you can see the heads can be taken out and swapped and stuff like that. And uh, there's more robots and stuff. Looks like it's an interesting expansion that, you know, uh, drastically changes some of the mechanism of the game and I think it adds a lot more variety to it. Okay, so this is all the big box. Finally, we get a chance to like, you know, look at all the final small boxes. Actually, we already look at one of the small boxes, that's the Stormtroopers. And this, you know, this is the other small boxes, which is like the Zenith Invasion. I mean, not clear from the... from the box itself but i'm sure when i open it up you will recognize some uh, you know ips and stuff and this is actually to be honest one of my favorite expansion uh, well look at this you know the alien queen a uh, more cute version of alien queen uh, compared to nemesis but it's still a very very good miniatures i, I don't mind even having an extra of this and then you know trying to paint it on my own which i know i will screw up so there are more aliens, um, small aliens, oh, one of them is there. okay, small aliens, and uh, medium aliens, yep. And you know what, he has actually done something that I, I think uh, not many people have done, and it's a very good practice. He has actually labelled all the different classes so that, you know, uh, one look at it, you can remember, you know, even if like half away, half a year away from this game, now, coming back, you'll know that, oh, this is the Zenith Queen. I don't need to like, search for it. And now these are the grubs and stuff like that. And I think that's a good job, really. You know, um, I have learned a lot of things buying from this seller. You know, first is the wrapping of the, of the box and then uh, laboring it. Uh, of course, for the, for, the, for the dry and dryness and, you know, like keeping it from moisture, I have my, um, you know, those uh, sticks with uh, diatomaceous earth. But... I guess uh, both of them works and uh, yes, I need to mention this. This is from Eric M. Lang, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of most of his game and I don't know, they might be some bad games, but I don't think I played them yet. So, so far, so good for me. And this is uh, one of those uh, smaller box, which actually you can buy with the, with the Kickstarter, I think. It's pro probably not available retail or very very hardly through retail because usually these type of boxes are very very hard to find and you only get it from the kickstarter campaign i mean how how easy is it to market like white box like this you know if you don't know what is inside nobody will buy this so this comes with uh cards as you can see he is actually providing very good cards so there's a uh, one side of them is matted the other side is clear this is a very very good sleeve and it's double sleeve you know then there are the smaller cards also uh, for this. So this box is for the uh, build a robot extra. That means there are extra robots for the build a robot. As you can see, uh, mainly miniatures, but very very nice big robotic miniatures, which is uh, cute at the same time. Also, we have uh, smaller ones. You know, like these are all the small yellow ones. The Meta, they call it. The big one is called the Omega Launcher, and we have a uh, Zeno. You know, which is probably the normal. You know, this really reminds me of a uh, Gundam. You know, one of the, those bad guys called Zakus. Uh, yeah, kind of the same design. So C1 hasn't really been like you know, maybe maybe it's not because they are not original, but they just want to pay homage to some of this. Uh, you know, other IPs around, but you know, and this one I don't even need to take out. This is so now so another small box he has actually gotten. Uh, this this looks like it's KS6. It could be from Kickstarter then. Is a companion pack for three companion robots, I guess. Um, reminds you of R2D2, right? Of course. And um, I think this is actually unopened. Yeah, this is unopened. So we have a uh, six part cut and uh, three miniatures. So there's a lot of stuff for Star Killer Quest, and because it's so cute, I mean, I just couldn't say no to it. Mm, I even got a friend into buying Star Killer Quest. So that's just how cute this game is i'm not sure about the gameplay yet i watched some video i'm confident that it's quite fun uh it's probably not a very serious game no not like you know all those dark uh, cthulhu stuff and stuff but something that you will enjoy i guess
So do consider it, uh, you know, the call box is available for sale. Um, you other than other than the Kickstarter exclusive, uh, I think you can you can also get the all the rest of the big boxes here as well. So one other big boxes that I didn't get is the one that uh, has a PvP arena where is no where there's no really map and then you just like bring characters in, you know, you just smash them up and then you know fight in the arena and stuff like that. I think they might even have conversion pack to bring Arcadia Quest characters into the arena. And then like convert them for the you know fighting stuff. I mean who cares whether is it uh, from medieval or is it from space age i mean if it's arena it's arena and it's just you know smash it up so that that is the one box that uh he didn't buy i think i understand for obvious reason if you're going to play this uh co-op campaign and stuff like that that doesn't really like, fit into the play model but since i'm quite a competition uh and i saw that on sale for like kind of about 15 20 dollars if i'm not wrong so i actually ordered that and uh that will kind of complete my collection although i still miss some of these uh, small boxes which i think is uh, quite necessary but this is the start of a uh, you know starcado quest collection journey for me so thanks for watching um this kind of like clear away some of these big boxes and you know, also that i don't have to do this in the february in uh, what came uh, and arrived in january i'll we have more stuff and already some of them is already here so i'm going to save that up for uh you know a later video but thanks for watching um, and then again you know all the user speech if you like you can subscribe um, you know and then you'll get alert when I have a new videos uh, mainly my videos will be about stuff I buy stuff that came and then uh, okay I, I really should go down back to doing some of the reviews and stuff that you know games I play and things like that uh, I'll think about how I schedule that but anyway so I'll see you next time again uh, so enjoy your weekend and you know play ball games I'll see you